A moment in black history. The Fritz Pollard story. Frederick Douglas Pollard was born January 27, 1894. To his friends and fans, he was better known as Fritz Pollard. He was an American football player and coach. But Fritz wasn't just any football player. He was the first African-American head coach in the National Football League. And Pollard, along with Bobby Marshall, were the first two African-American players to play in the NFL in 1920. In the inaugural season of the NFL, Pollard led his team, the Akron Pros, to the championship game where they won. The following season in 1921, he became a co-head coach for the Akron Pros. Over many years after that, he coached and played on multiple teams. In the 1930s, Pollard retired from football and founded his own professional football team, the Brown Bombers. The Depression ended the Brown Bombers' run in 1938, and Pollard went on to other ventures, including a talent agency, tax consulting, and a film and music production team. These achievements would be considered phenomenal at any point in history. But when you take the fact that Pollard had all of this success at the height of the Jim Crow era, it is truly impressive. His achievements have firmly cemented his legacy. In 1981, Brown University conferred an honorary Doctor of Laws degree to Pollard, recognizing his achievements as an athlete and leader. In 2005, Pollard was posthumously inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. In 2015, Pollard was posthumously inducted into the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. And the Fritz Pollard Alliance is a group promoting minority hirings throughout the NFL is named in his honor. The greatest lesson learned from Fritz Pollard is that you can achieve anything in life, no matter how big the obstacle or how great the barrier, as long as you have a determination, a willingness, and the courage to stand up, anything is possible. Across